go off with their hips. Men, our center of gravity is higher. So men, we walk with our shoulders. So when you go up to your girl, there's a certain like sway. Let me use an exaggeration. Now, this is gonna be on YouTube. But um, everybody see like rap videos and hip hop videos. Kind of like you know, some guys are walk like yeah. <laughs> I don't mean like that. I mean yeah. Um, that's that's uh, exaggeration. When you walk, you're walking. You're gonna display confidence. There is a sway to your shoulder. You are like walking like this. There should be a slight swagger to you. Alright? And you strive because you're confident. Like, this is a girl I want to talk to. Alright? You, you, there's so many times I have to tell you guys, like, okay, you know, don't don't shuffle your feet. You're not fucking 18 anymore. Alright? <laughs> you want to be confident. Alright? And then there's the Tino turn. Sorry, I felt that a little bit. Um, Alright. Touching increases your success rate. Makes her feel good, makes you feel good too. Appropriate touching. Um, <laughs> no, they did this study, it was like a college out in Paris, it wasn't a bunch of like community studies, it was, actually, it was an actual study, where they gave this guy a script, and at the end of the script, he would ask for a phone number. Uh, on one day, he didn't touch your own, and on the second day, he was allowed to like touch your on the elbow. On that day, he got 15% more numbers. 50% by a simple act of touching, like that. Okay. Now I will say there's a slight difference between Kino, the, uh, the art of touching, between night game versus day games. And you can't really like get all you know touchy feely during the day. It's just a little bit weird. But you know, a handshake, a touch on the elbow, on on the outside. All right, that's appropriate. Um. Again, just going to just make a point, smiling is very important, especially for Asians. I mean, I remember one student of mine, he's a really cool guy, he was like a teacher and all that, he's like Korean, but um, my female assistant was terrified of him. He's terrified, because he didn't smile. When we tried to have him smile, he'd just go like... <laughs> it was that bad. I would like smile, and she's like, oh my god, he's like a serial killer or something. <laughs> Right? But no, he was like the nicest guy. Um, people react positively when you smile, even if you're faking it. Right? It's better, as I say, fake it till you make it. It just creates like um, endorphins in your head and it creates a positive reaction to other people. I can tell like some of you guys have like total like poker face, so it's kind of like hard to tell. Um, if you don't, if you find it hard to smile. Everybody just re re say yeah. 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 It actually forces your teeth, to, your mouth, to form a smile. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of different possible facial expressions. Anger, concentration, contempt, desire. Um, I know I'm being a dead horse facial thing, but that is one of the massive problems I run into Asian, my Asian students. They're not expressing themselves. People are more likely to trust you if you form different facial expressions, right? you, you're still considered weird if you talk to a girl and you're like you have a shit eating grin all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's not any better. So, so yeah, I've talked about that—the dreaded Asian poker face. Right. After approaching, what are openers? Openers are just a way to start a conversation. They're not anything really special. Some of them are fun, some of them are silly. They're just a way to put, get your foot in the door. Right. Types of openers is the interrogative. You're asking a question, just making a statement, like saying hello, you know, you're cute. Um, there's nonverbal, that's a little bit more advanced, but you can basically open girls just like waving at them or sticking out your tongue, and then they respond. Um, styles, there's like can. These are things that you can download off the internet. There's like, what's, what's some of the old can ones? Like, Who Lies More, uh, Men or Women, there's the, uh, the Pink Thong opener, all that kind of stuff. And they do work. They do work. I mean, people have practiced them like for, for ages, and they do work. However, I would say at this point, um, if it was in the book or if it was on TV, don't use it. <laughs> so, uh, directs. This is where you basically compliment a girl. Natural, you know, whatever comes on your mind. And then situational or observational type openers. 
Right, just make an observation about what's going on around you. So one thing I'll have my students do is they call it a kickstart. A kickstart is just a way to warm up your night. Right? It's not anything really special, but what is the appropriate reaction when you go up to a person and you say, hi, my name is JT. Okay? You shake hands. It's called social obligation. Okay? Social obli obligation. And when you're at a bar, What's your perfect reaction when someone goes, cheers? Cheers. Everybody knows what that means. Everybody knows what that means. And this is like a very difficult way to get blown out. You just go like, oh, cheers, how's it going? All right. <coughs> Kickstart is just a low investment opener, and you're not really trying to get anything from a girl. This is probably one of the big reasons why guys have a personal tie is because they're trying to get something from her. Like, I want her number, I want to hang out with her, I, I, I want something, I want something. Here, you know, the attitude is, you don't want anything from her. You're just who you are, and you're going to talk and, and, you know, compliment, whatever. You're not trying to take anything from her. And the kickstart is just a way to warm yourself up, maybe get a little bit of social proof. Who here has heard the concept of social proof? Not too many. Okay, social proof, it's been shown that, um, it's like magic or something. Where if a guy is surrounded by beautiful women that are smiling, something like that, other women will consider him more attractive. He's like, if she, she was to see him without women and he was like a five average, right? But all of a sudden he's with girls, now he becomes like an eight or a nine. Just because he's with girls. The reverse is actually true for guys. Um, when a girl is surrounded by other guys, guys are more scared to, to approach them. So, for you girls that want guys to talk to you, don't hang out with your guy friends. You got <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is simply, when you kick start off your night, you're just gonna be social. It's low investment. You're walking around, people see you talking to other people. Like, cheers, my name's JT. You guys seem, like, really friendly. Hey, me and my friends, we're celebrating a birthday. Don't be a stranger, come by and say hi. Very simple, works. And the idea is, if she doesn't respond, you just, you know, you leave anyway. You're going to do that anyway. But if she stays and talks to you, hey, that's great. The idea is, you're not trying to get anything. You're not trying to make anything happen, other than to get warmed up and to be talked to. Uh, this is a good thing. And it, everybody knows that approach anxiety, you know, that, that clammy feeling in your stomach, and you get nervous. Who here has heard of re-approach anxiety? Yeah. It doesn't exist. You've already talked to her. So one thing I'll teach my guys is called the boomerang. Like, you know, boomerang. You see her again, and you want to make a strong second impression. Okay? Or maybe you can do it in like the middle of a conversation. Let's, let's say I'm talking to beautiful Rose here, and I go like, oh, you know what? I almost made a huge mistake tonight. I was talking to a beautiful girl, and I didn't even introduce myself. Hi. You can do that in the middle of a conversation. You can do that when you see her again. Simply because you talked to her and nothing you know, happened doesn't mean you can't talk to her again. Yeah, this is the is a really great way to make a second, a really positive second impression on her. Um, these are my little kamikaze opens. Glorious crash and burn. <laughs> um, does my tried and true fucking direct simply go up to you and like, you are fucking adorable. You are fucking, you know, sexy. Whatever. It's just fucking an adjective. <laughs> <laughs> no, it works. Like, seriously, guys, it does work. I did it a lot of time. There's the uh, Has anyone ever told you how beautiful my eyes are? <laughs> 